This training video focuses on your estimating technique. Before proceeding with setting up the quote method, determine the method that your company uses to estimate projects. Please feel free to follow along at your own pace with the Deck Tools application. You can pause or rewind this lesson using the controls at the bottom of this window. Deck Tools software is very flexible and can accommodate a variety of pricing strategies. Here are the types of options to consider for price estimating, unit-based and part-based. We are going to discuss three ways to set the unit-based pricing in Deck Tools. In the Info tabs, Settings, you will find the Estimating Labor and Estimating Material for setting up your pricing. In method number one, a single retail number or one lump sum per square foot that represents labor, material, and markup is used to estimate the sale price. In this method, change the preset dollar values in estimating labor to zero. You could choose to set the values to zero in estimating material instead if you prefer. In estimating materials, ensure the materials estimating technique value is set to unit based. Next, enter the deck square foot, railing linear foot, stairs square foot, and per footing post selling price for a basic deck. The category price may include parts from other category deck parts, such as rail, stair, and footing. In that case, enter zero in those fields. Now, enter as a percentage the increase for the variety of materials options you offer. It is important to always replace the number and percentage symbol with a new number and percentage symbol when updating any percentage factor. Deck Tools reads this as a percentage, and without that symbol, it will be read as a number and your estimate will no longer be accurate. The final setup step in this method is to change the residential category markup to 0%. Remember to replace the number and percentage symbol. Now draw a deck with the basic material and change the quick stat to estimate all to display the selling price. Now change the decking material and the estimate will instantly update to the new selling price. Also notice the automatic update in the price when adding railing. In method number two, we divide the retail number between estimating labor and estimating material. In estimating labor, enter the retail number for deck square foot, railing linear foot, stair square foot, and per footing post. This number is the labor estimate cost plus markup. Now enter the material estimate cost plus markup in estimating materials. As a percentage, enter the estimate increase in both estimating labor and estimating material. You can set the labor and material factors at different rates per material. So if you pay the crews twice as much to install an ePay deck over a pressure treated deck, set the ePay labor factor to 100%. And if the material estimate for ePay is two and a half times more than pressure treated, enter 150% in estimating materials. Set the residential category markup to 0%. Test pricing by drawing a deck and changing the materials. View the pricing in quick stats. As you can see, when changing the decking to ePay, the price increases as a result of the markups we just entered for ePay decking. The third approach to the unit-based estimating technique is to enter cost estimate numbers in the estimating labor and estimating materials categories. Also enter the percentage increase material and labor factors. Because cost numbers have been entered, enter the residential category markup as a percentage and remember to enter both a new number and a new percentage symbol. Now a word about category markups. A percentage markup can be entered into each of the categories residential, commercial, and custom. 
The advantage is that all the numbers entered into estimating labor, materials, and markup can be kept confidential. In the Info tabs, the Customer Category status can be updated by clicking on the Category Markup that best reflects the percentage you want to charge without revealing any of your confidential numbers. In a parts-based estimate, enter the labor cost, not retail, in the deck square foot, railing linear foot, stairs square foot, per footing post selling price for a basic deck. The category price may include parts from other category deck parts like railing, stairs, and footing. In that case, enter zero in those fields. Now enter as a percentage the increased labor factor for the variety of materials options you offer. And don't forget when you replace the number and percentage symbol to add another number and percentage symbol. In estimating materials, set the material estimating technique to parts based. Any numbers entered for pricing below this line will be ignored and the price for the material entered in the material library will be used instead. It is important to keep your material library up to date with correct prices. Because cost numbers are being used, enter the residential category markup as a percentage and remember to enter both a new number and a new percentage symbol. Also, do not forget to take advantage of the category markups. A percentage markup can be entered into each of the categories, residential, commercial, and custom. The advantage is that all the numbers entered into estimating labor, materials, and markup can be kept confidential as we discussed earlier. Thanks for watching.